So what was I doing? Um, I'm going to make a dip, but first I'm going to mute uh, what I'm watching because uh, they might bind, ban me. So, um, so uh, we got tomatoes. So, and I'm just eyeballing this. There's no like exact formula. I, I saw it in a documentary about like um, Sardinia and like the typical dip that they make. So basically I have tomatoes, uh, ricotta, basil, olive oil, and I'm going to get a garlic. It's a several garlic. And then I'm going to blend them and then that's the dip for a for bread or for, uh, well, I got uh, no salt um, chips, so less calories. And that's it. Okay, I'm going to angle this camera to this. All right. Uh, so there's not much editing. It's just like straightforward what I'm doing. Uh, basil. Tomatoes, uh, I guess you can like clean the tomatoes. Well, this these tomatoes are already clean. There's some water, clean the tomatoes, clean the tomatoes. Or maybe I should use instead of this fresh, the ones that I just bought, I should get the older tomatoes. The one that's like uh, soft now, that's what I'm going to use. So, clean the tomatoes. Vine tomatoes are good, they last longer than regular tomatoes because they're still on the vine. Is that the logic? I don't know. Okay, we got that. And we're gonna cut this up. Always have a sharp knife. I'll sharpen it a little bit. Mm, yum. I'm just gonna cube the tomatoes. So basically, I'm cutting half well it doesn't really matter like like how are you do it because like, you're gonna blend it in in the end it's like how, whatever is easiest for you to uh, blend them with so I'm making it small so that's like uh, two tomatoes or one whole tomato and I'm gonna put the basil smells good put the basil and including the stalks I'm gonna include the stalks because uh, that's part of the basil so may maybe it's just you know restaurants will just only put the leaves but I, I include the stalks because uh, you know <laughs> and all uh, garlic I have to put garlic so I got garlic here uh, Mm, a chuck full just, since I'm just estimating them and I'm not really like measuring them this is all just guesstimation and uh, the ricotta cheese how do you open how do you open Mm. Ah, didn't work. So, uh, what are we gonna do? Stab it. There. Stabbing. That's very dangerous what I'm doing, like licking the knife. Because you might cut yourself. You know, some, some people don't know what I'm doing and you know, cut themselves. Okay. So, this one, this is, how much this is? I like this thingy, one pound, 16 ounce of ricotta cheese. I'm going to put half, half of it, about half, <laughs> there, 
half. Okay? And then I'm gonna bombard it with olive oil. And, <laughs> uh uh. Is that good? I don't know. Where are the olive oils? Kalamata. And I'm using what kind of olive oil? Extra virgin olive oil. Of course, the cheapest because uh, this is just going to be like a dip for a... Um, for chips and bread. So, I should measure it, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to like eyeball it again. Eyeball, eyeball. So, there. Maybe that was a cup of olive oil. Not sure. Oh, um, put salt also, just to give it some taste. So, uh, what? Pink Himalayan salt, anything that's salty, I guess. So, oops, that's too much. Ah, okay. I'll improvise. Mm, okay, what are we doing? There. And I'll blend it until uh, it's a dip consistency. And I'm waiting for this ricotta cheese to blend in here, so I'm just gonna spoon them down. Mm. That is so good. Maybe a little bit more olive oil, just to become more, um, what do you call this? liquidy rather than thick I think that's enough so, I'm going to show you guys what the deal is, is grab the no salt. <laughs> Lately I've been like concerned about like, I, I should be because like, you know, but starve myself, you know, don't eat much. chip and the dip chip and dip oh that's a good dip that's a very good dip mm. that's amazing dip and it's healthy it's olive oil that's oh, so good Mm. All right. So what am I having? It's a very Roman meal. Uh, bread, the the dip that I made, and some uh, ice and uh, some juice with water or like something something nice. Well, that's not really Roman because um, a there's no ice, and this one had tomatoes, and uh, Back then, there's no tomatoes in Rome, <laughs> so that's a modern, that's a modern thing. Okay, um, so that's the conclusion. Uh, like uh, bread, little bread. That's my meal. Eat little. Allow your body to digest your the calories that you took in. I think that's the key too. Living a good life.
or living eating healthy is to allow your body to digest the food that you ate. By not doing that three times a day idea, because unless you're like a like intensive labor, like farmer, then yeah. But if you just live in a city and your work is like minimal, like doing this, you don't need to eat three times a day. You just eat like one to me, one healthy, you know, you think about like what you're eating, healthy meal. And that should last you until the next day. So I'm really an advocate of one meal a day. So, yeah. Okay.